So I saw this, a uh, former temporary employee accused of stealing $40,000 worth of Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, this is a report on King 5 Seattle, and that's a reporter. A 28-year-old man accused of stealing $40,000 worth of the collectible game has been arrested, so this was posted five days ago, four days ago. By the Seattle Police Department, the man reportedly stole Magic the Gathering cards from a ballot warehouse where he temporarily worked and began selling them online after his work contract ended, police said. So this is pretty uh, interesting stuff, right? I mean, he actually shows the cards that he stole. It looks like mostly modern stuff. Um, I'm seeing Endurance. I'm seeing a lot of Mana Crips, man. A whole shit ton of Mana Crips. And yeah, Alice Norms, uh, Great Hedges. I mean, it does look like he's got uh, misty rainforests, uh, but mostly mana crypts. It looks like he just stole all the mana crypts, which I guess added to $40,000. Uh, kind of amazing how no one caught this until. So essentially, what, what was happening was he stole it and then he began selling it on Facebook Marketplace. That's pretty bizarre. Um, and the former temp employee was caught because a manager noticed that some magic cards were missing, saw similar cards posted online for sale, made a purchase, and the temp employee used their name and address for that transaction. Magic players, I mean, this guy's a 28-year-old. No idea why he, he's so stupid, but he is very stupid. This situation is a reminder and warning for anyone looking to buy cards online. The headline is shocking waves through the local gaming community. He's been arrested. I assume this is a grand larceny because it's over 10,000. Don't really know about Seattle law. Um, but yeah. It can be uh, very, very expensive, right? Uh, and maybe you go online for a deal. And uh, this local game store is just advertised. It's Mox Boarding House, by the way. Um, the person selling the cards had never sold a card before and didn't have a website and didn't really know very much about Magic the Gathering. So, you, I mean, basically, if this guy did not, if the boss did not find him, maybe, yeah, maybe he gets away with it, right? I mean, could be. It's a very fascinating tale, right? It's $40,000 is a lot. I mean, this dude's, Straight up still like, oh, how many mana crypt is that? It's like 10, 20. He's straight up still 23 mana crypts. <laughs> like that, I've never seen. He's like a temp worker. Why would you let your temp worker get a hold of it? This is another reason never to open the Magic the Gathering store. Your temp workers are just run there. I mean, here's the problem. This is basically cash, and you have to treat it as cash. Right? You got to put it in the safe. What's with my bank? I know a lot of people made fun of my bank idea, but I got like at least two inquiries about like, hey, I want to be part of this idea. I think it could blow up. Yeah, again, I know people didn't like the idea of buying a bank and storing your cards in it, but it's kind of where we are right now because everyone in the grab under wants to steal. Forty thousand dollars. I'm. Oh, here's the cards. By the way, I thought I thought it was super interesting that he, they got the cards, and I was like, oh, what is it? Is it a dual lands? Is it a black lotus? And nah, man, the dude was just trying to sell twenty free. I mean, imagine going on Facebook, and, and on Friday night, and you're like, wait, wait, what? Let, let me go back. So this was the exact post minus the logo uh, king, which is the Seattle logo, that he was uh, trying to sell, like. Holy moly, guys. Holy moly, he was trying to sell that. Former temp employee accused of stealing. You can't make this sh shit up. Uh, even if you did make it up, no one would believe you. It's kind of deal, right? It is wild. Wild, 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 right? Um, but at the same time, it's kind of interesting. Because maybe, you know, we, we talk about the Pokemon thing with the fusion strike and no one can get a mother effing hit from it, including myself. And there's just the temptation to steal. Even in Meta Zoo, there is 
the belief that in China right now, the dude's just printing cards and he's got like a vault of cards and somebody needs to go to China to sort out the cards. I mean, I can't go. My girlfriend's pregnant, but I have friends who can investigate. They just got to give me the name and number. They can go down there today to see what's up with the Hello Kitty stuff. There's a lot of really crazy stuff going on in cardboard. And, and the part of this is it's, it's so damn expensive, guys. It's so mud effing expensive that like like a temp worker will go to jail for a long time. I don't know. Supposedly will go to jail for a long time. $40,000 is a, a whole lot of money, right? A um, whole lot of money. And they're pretty good cards. It, it doesn't seem like he went full price on it. I think he wanted very low. Uh, prices of uh, Fox 13 Seattle. Let's read that article. Fox 13 Seattle. Seattle police recover 40k. Oh, they recovered it. Good on them. Oh, yeah, this is crazy. Let me screenshot this. Seattle police recovered $40,000 worth of Magic the Gathering cards on Twitter. Crazy. 28 year old suspect was booked into King County Jail for theft and trafficking in stolen goods. Police said a manager noticed substantial discrepancies in their stock of magic cards. The manager told police he had been using a using temporary employees to relocate operations and the suspect's contract had ended days. I mean yeah he's probably getting paid like ten what's the fifteen dollars an hour in Washington. And the uh, police served a warrant at the suspect's home, and detectives say they were able to recover the majority of the stolen magic cards. Wow. Hey, man, good on, good on them. I mean, recovery is not easy, guys. It is not easy right now. Cause that, that, I mean, it's, it's so liquid. Magic cards are liquid at the right price. Of course, right? So... Yeah, interesting stuff. I definitely feel like that. 40,000. 20. I still can't get back. Get past 20 free. 20 free mana crypts. And you let a temporary worker handle all that to the point that you didn't notice until later. Until after that worker's contract expired. And if the worker was not dumb enough to respond in, with his actual name and address, yeah, maybe. Maybe you don't get to do. Anyway, interesting report. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below. Actually, looking at the the decks, the decks, right? Pretty interesting ducks for Fallout. I, I mean, pretty interesting uh, land, honestly. Sunken Hollow, Path of Accessory, Opaline, Wow, maybe we go over this stuff. Pretty, pretty damn interesting. 